everyone. Um, I'm gonna turn us around here if you saw my last video. Fortunately, full self driving is gonna be a very, very long time to do this. This has to do level four, has to be able to do what I just did. It has to eventually give up and make a U, like a three point turn in the middle of the road. Um, and so we, where we are going, um, down here. Now turn right onto get over in the correct lane. Okay. So, unfortunately I had to cut short my uh, unprotected left turn here. But, uh, I still got a few tests in. This update is causing a lot of issues. We're, we're making it though. We're going with the foil. And we're trying to get trying to get as best as footage as I can. Unfortunately, again, I'm not able to have the wide angle view because I can't go in the park. If I go in the park, then I'm gonna lose lose um, my um, full self driving uh, access. Potentially lose it. So we're just gonna go around this roundabout here. See how how it goes. This is gonna be our interactual city test. We were basically all of no one unprotected right away from doing an exact test, so it's going to be pretty darn close. Uh, yeah, so roundabout improved. This is probably the best it's ever done. This roundabout. Yeah, gotta get some good things. I'm looking for some good improvements. That's one. That's what I suspected earlier, because it was really confident around some turns, and I was like, maybe it's going to be really good around a roundabout now, and it was. It was very good around that roundabout. I'm gonna have to pause right here. Back to our normal test route here. In 500 feet, turn right onto South Spruce Street. It's going through the parking spaces again. I'm gonna just disable that. We're not gonna try and get zero disengagement through this drive. Um, I'm just gonna try and start training the car correctly. That's something I think uh, Mike has made that point and I definitely agree that we need to be training more often uh, to correct the car doing incorrect things. And this is the first time I've done this turn without a car in the way, without making a blind turn. Oh wow, it was close to the curb there. I did not like that. This tavern is, um, wow, doing really well today. Okay, good stop. Let's see if it gets in the correct lane. Now turn left onto College Street. Okay, wasn't going to get it in the correct lane again. Let's move it up to the line. There's our line. Yeah, it can't. <laughs> you can see it. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Okay, so it needs to go ahead and get over in the left lane here. I'm going to go ahead and make it just to train it to get over in this lane. I'm hoping that the light up ahead that's red. Yeah, it's not going to try and go left or right again. It really has a hard time the last few updates going through that area. It tried to go around this truck. I don't know why the truck was so hesitant to go around this dumpster right here. Oh, it's trying to get in the right lane again. And with a cyclist come by. Oh, okay. It keeps on trying to get in the right lane. As you can see, that is a right only turn lane. It can mark it left and right only turn lane. We are going straight. 
through this intersection here. And I'm not actually all the way up at the line. And it still has the rollback behavior in this version. I had that in 10.2 as well. Okay. why it's turning on the left blinker. It, I mean, we are going a slight left, but it's not a left turn. We ha do have a right turn up here. I don't know why it tried to make a left you move right there. It's trying to break at the pedestrian crossing. And we are good here. It's gonna... St Okay. In 500 feet, turn right onto Otis Street. Every single time, not once has it ever gotten in the correct lane here. I don't know why, because maybe it's not marked. Um, and it still wants to go in this left lane here. It's not the map data. Well, maybe it is the map data, because look, it's off to the left here. It's, it's relying on map data too much still. I... I personally think I can, the lines are clear. The arrow's on the road. This is a left only turn lane. And this is a straight lane right here. Again, same issues. Now turn right onto the it's coming in too hot to that turn. Now turn right onto Wall Street. Now your destination is on the right. Okay. Again, uh, it really just doesn't seem like, it seems like an overall downgrade. A couple minor things better about Asheville. A couple minor, minor things. But, like, why is it turning on the right it's blinker here? Feet. Turn left onto Battery Park Avenue. This is... <laughs> it's really hard going around people because they're like nudging you like, hey, you, you're good to go. And yet... <sighs> got people standing out in the middle of the road. I'm having to push it through. You got people walking in the middle of the road. <laughs> I ain't even folded my mirrors in. Okay. Um, I don't know why I decided to go. I, oh, I thought those cars were in line. That's why I did that. Go ahead and report that. Now turn left onto Battery Park Avenue. This is a, always a good test. This is a really good edge case, a really complex situation. Tons of people, like cars just parked on the side of the road, people walking in the middle of the road. Very good area to do tests. And also, okay, so you, I don't know if you can see the curb that's right there. It goes too far t to the right and then runs up and over the curb. And okay, people, you're gonna get out of the middle of the road. Now turn right onto Page Avenue. Blinker turned off for some reason. Okay, you can go forward. Uh, we got someone crossing the road here. I will just turn off the blinker. I turned that blinker back on.
Yeah, this is, I mean, it was, this is a more challenging, a, a lot more complexity going on um, this day than the last drive. That being said, it's, it just seems I, I'm not happy with this version. I'm just not happy with 10.3 so far. Not in Asheville, at least. I need to do some more driving in my more local area. But again, this area is just... It's not good. Not good at all. Uh, hopefully, uh, this seems like more of... It's better than... Well, it's better than 10.1. I think it's worse than 10.2. This next drive will help us give a more clear test. This is going to be our new Belgium drive. All over the place. But we're not going to put it in park. We're going to start here and as always everyone i appreciate you watching i'm uh trying as best as i can i i apologize for all the craziness in these videos this series is not going to look too well but i uh, hope everyone has a uh, good rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye